This is Super Yacht News with the Sysman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. All right, so uh, around the beginning of May, I made a video in Gibraltar, and it was about a yacht called Motiot Axioma. And the vessel had been arrested when it came into the port of Gibraltar uh, sometime in March. Uh, now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because the Supreme Court of Gibraltar has just ordered that this vessel actually be sold. The vessel is a 72 meter and it was uh, a, a charter yacht, very popular charter yacht, a charter for about $600,000 uh, a week. And it's owned by someone called Dmitry Pompiansky. Obviously, he's Russian. And um, the, the, the actual vessel was owned by a company called Perrine Investments, which is registered in the British Virgin Islands. And then the shareholder of that was a Cypriot company called Ferdberg Holding Limited, which was owned by the Russian billionaire Dmitry Pompiansky. So that's the ownership. Um, trail if you like so so what happened is that the, i actually i actually reported about this yacht at the time in march i did a video where i said i said i found it odd that this vessel was heading to gibraltar even though the owner was on the sanctions list and i also had it on good authority that the vessel was going straight to turkey which is now a safe haven, which we know lots of Russian owned yachts are in Turkey now, but at the time that wasn't the case. And I, I was told by a source that it was heading straight to Turkey. So I found it a bit odd that the vessel had uh, was veering off that course. It was heading across the Atlantic and all of a sudden it was going into Gibraltar. I don't know the details of that. I don't know whether they had a problem with the vessel or something, but anyway, they went into Gibraltar and, and of course it was immediately boarded by uh, officials. So in the court documents uh, it said that the bank, uh, JP Morgan Bank, had provided a loan, a 20.5 million euro loan in December 2021 to Perrine Investments. And the um, lawyers for the bank told the Supreme Court that Mr. Pompiansky's inclusion on the sanctions list amounted to a breach of that loan agreement. So uh, he got put on the sanctions list and, and effectively because he, his assets were frozen and, it, and he was unable, to, even if he was able to pay the money to the bank, the bank was not allowed to accept the money because of the sanctions and as such it was classed as forfeiture of that loan. The bank also told the court that the shares of Ferdberg had been transferred to another person, to Dmitry faber Sileev on March the 4th. Uh, five days before Mr. Pumpiansky was placed on the UK sanctions list. Uh, there's a pattern to all of this, isn't there? And this too constituted a breach of that loan agreement. So uh, JP Morgan are seeking reimbursement of the 20.5 million euros uh, plus interest and costs on that loan. It's sought through the court an order for the sale of the vessel pursuant to that claim. Uh, so the vessel will be sold to the highest bidder um, after an appraisal by yachting experts to come up with a with a value. What I would say on that subject is, um, because of the nature of the sale, it's unlikely the vessel was going to reach market value because not. I don't think there are that many people out there who want to buy a yacht that was seized from a Russian owner. And as such, it's probably going to go for a lot less than its market value. Now, remember, JP Morgan, as long as they get their 20 and a half million back, they're happy. But what I would watch out for is that the, the owner tries to buy it back through a shell company because I, it would not be the first time I've heard of this. I have heard of other people who've had assets seized and then they've, they've actually bought them back through shell companies, bought back their own seized items and... Um, yeah, so the, the, the authorities will need to watch out for that because I, th I would say, like I said, because of the circumstances of that sale, it's unlikely to reach market value. So it could actually end up being a, a good way for the owners to claim that vessel back. So that, because that vessel uh, is approximately worth, and I, th I believe it was already up for sale, approximately worth $75 million. So uh, JP Morgan looking for 20 and a half million euros. So yeah, so it's going to fall somewhere between that. 
Uh, I'll bring you more on that story uh, as and when it, uh, I have it. So we'll move on to the next story, uh, Moti Art A. We talked about it in a recent video and I said that I, I, I report, well, I, I talked about a, a Fox Business News report that said that it had been reflagged with an Emirates flag. Now, that I, this video I put out was about the 12th of, of May, uh, sorry, 12th of June. And, um, and I got contacted by someone the next day and said, I'm in Ras al-Khaimah. Uh, I was in Ras al-Khaimah last week. I've got some photographs. Um, as of the 6th of June, the vessel was still not flying an ensign and it still did not have a home port under the letter. So it's, uh, so as of the 6th of June, uh, the vessel was not registered as an Emirates, uh, with an Emirates flag. Uh, if anybody's in Ras al now, please uh, take a photo and send it through to me, the normal locations. Um, one, one interesting thing about, about uh, Moti Yacht A now is that it's been in Ras al for so long that if you go on Google Maps, you'll see it. It's actually there. Uh, light as day in, in Ras al on Google Maps has been there so long. All right, we'll move on to the next story. This is a strange one. So in the last news video I did, I talked about a yacht, a very strange looking yacht called Galaxy of Happiness. And I said it, I said it looks like a Klingon bird of prey. Um, and I said that it, it had been, it, it, someone reported to me that the vessel looked like it had been, uh, got into trouble in the med and it had been collect or on the way to Greece and it had been collected by a tug and was being towed to the island of Crete. It then proceeded to take a very strange path back and forth, back and forth, as you can see here. Uh, after I put that video out, um, I got contacted almost immediately by somebody and says, "Hey, I'm in, uh, I'm in, I'm in Greece right now, about 300 nautical miles north of where you, where you said that vessel is, and I'm looking right at Galaxy of Happiness right now." Um, so he said, "It's not in Crete." It's right here. It's in a place called uh, Theologos. I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, and he sent me some photographs and he sent me the GPS uh, location. And he said, the vessel's, the vessel's here. It's been here for a while now. Uh, so I don't know what's happening there. So, so somebody would appear, uh, assuming that information is correct, um, that, that uh, something's going on with the AIS for that vessel. Um, the vessel... According to AIS now, the vessel is being towed by the same tug uh, towards um, over towards Turkey. But according to this person, the vessel is still in um, Theologos in, in Greece. Now, interestingly, I went on to um, Apple Maps and I went to the location that the, that the person sent me and there it was. So that vessel also been in that location for a very long time. As you can see on the image now, the vessel is showing up on Apple Maps has been there that long. And Apple Maps don't update their maps as often as, as Google, it would seem, because I went to the Ras al location for Moti Yacht A on Apple Maps, and it doesn't show A there, but um, on Google it shows it as being there. So the vessel's been there a long time, it would seem. So I don't know what's going on there. There's something very strange going on. There was also a chap in Crete who said, hey, I'm in Crete right now on land. I'll go to the location if you give me it and I'll have a look. And he, he said he went and he could not find, he couldn't see any sight of Galaxy of Happiness or any yacht being towed by a tug. So there's a very, bit of a strange story there. So if you know more about that, please get in touch. That is a, that is a weird one. So yeah, one other thing is in the location that the AIS shows the tug towing Galaxy of Happiness, there is an oil tanker, a Russian flagged oil tanker sitting there and it's saying waiting for orders. So there's something, something's weird going on here, right, right here. I, I suspect that Galaxy of Happiness is not in the location that AIS is showing. It's impossible to get from that place to the, from the place in the north down to Crete uh, in such a short space of time. All right, we'll move on. I've got one more story before we go. Um, and this one is Moti Arthur Nord uh, is on the move. So we talked in the, the last video I, when I talked about Nord, I, I, I uh, broke the news that the vessel had actually been reflagged, is now flying the Russian flag. Um, and I also talked about the fact that the vessel had seemingly been doing sea, some sea trials out of Vladivostok. You know, obviously Nord was fled to Vladivostok from the Seychelles when the sanctions all took off. So the, the chap who owns Motiot Nord, Alexei Mordashov, he owns another boat called Lady M, which you can see 
over my left shoulder here. This is uh, his other vessel, and it was arrested here in Imperia in March. I think it was the 1st of March, one of the first vessels to be arrested. I've actually got a video coming soon about this vessel, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, Nord, it, it, has, it is on the move now, and it, it, it has gone to a place called Korsakov uh, in Russia, and uh, in the, the Russian Riviera, as I call it now. Um, but uh, I'll show you some photographs of the location that they've gone to. It is not Monaco, let's, let's say. So yeah, so uh, that would signify, it would seem, the first uh, voyage of that vessel under a Russian flag. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, if you've got any information like any of the stories we've talked about or any other stories, please be sure to get in touch through the normal methods. You can go to the About page on the YouTube channel or you can go to uh, Facebook Messenger, or you can use Instagram to get me there. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and then hit the little bell, and that way you'll get notified of future videos. All right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.